I shot this picture during a trip to the Wichita Mountains National Wildlife Reserve. I think I'm saying that right. It's near Lawton, Oklahoma. It's about uh, two hours from where we live. And it's this super cool place to go in Oklahoma. And it's the. it seems like you're in another part of the country, almost another part of the world when you go there. Oklahoma is well known for its relatively flat plains, and that's fine. But you go down to this place, and suddenly there's like mountains. Now, it's not Rocky Mountains, but uh, like they're not soaring mile high peaks, but they're mountains, like they're, they're small mountains. And you get these huge scenic vistas that you don't get anywhere else in Oklahoma. It's so cool and it's free and you just drive into this place. You can park and hike around. And that's what we did here. We, we uh, followed the Jed Johnson Trail to Jed Johnson Lake. And then uh, up here is Jed Johnson Tower. We, we went on a, a weekend trip with our kids um, in early June and uh, just spent a, a couple days hiking around just for fun and to see what was out there. And this is one of the first things we saw was this tower. This is an old Firewatch tower that they built in like the 40s or 50s. It's no longer active now and you can't go up inside it, but it makes for a super interesting uh, location to view. Right behind it actually is a cliff and there's a lake down there, a man-made lake. But it seems like there, it's like a, a castle is buried underground and this part is sticking up or something. Like it, it's so, it's such an anomaly when you look out and see this tower <laughs> in, the, in the middle of this uh, mountainous, hilly landscape. And there's no other walls or towers. It's just this one singular tower. It's really cool. I brought my uh, Fuji X100F on this trip because that camera is awesome. And then I also bought, brought my D500 and 7200 f2.8. And I shot this at I think 140 millimeters at f2.8 because you can uh, sharpness is not an issue with that lens. You Even wide open, even at any focal length, you're going to get a sharp photo or your subject is going to be sharp as long as you have focused properly. But what I wanted to hopefully get was a slightly blurry background. And if I, I, I had a couple of photos that I shot at a slightly smaller aperture and you could tell uh, the background is more in focus. It didn't have the same sense of, of depth and presence that this one does. I also had to edit the sky a little bit. I didn't do like a sky replacement or anything. I just did a gradient filter in Lightroom and adjusted the exposure and white balance a little bit to bring out the clouds. Otherwise it looked kind of like dull and, and monotone and gray, but there was a lot of clouds in the sky. So I, was, I edited the sky so it looked like what it was actually like when I saw this. It was a super cool experience and hopefully we can go back there again. If you are anywhere in the area, I highly recommend it as just a, I don't know. It's just a fun place to go and you can stay in Airbnbs or there's like little inns nearby. It's, it's a great place and I, I highly recommend checking it.